we now come to the second presentation uh, which is from uh, Turkey topic is thorium research and development in Turkey and the speaker is uh, Dr. Gorkum Gungor uh, Mr. Gungor obtained his BSc degree from Hesitep University uh, nuclear engineering de department in Ankara, Turkey. In 2012, he joined the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources Nuclear Energy Project Implementation Department as an assistant expert. His thesis subject is economic impact of uranium mining and nuclear fuel manufacturing in Turkey. He is also a graduate student in Middle East Technical University Department of Earth uh, System Sciences in Ankara, Turkey. So, Mr. Gungor, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thank you, delegates, for uh, being here. Uh, before my presentation, I would like to emphasize one point. In the previous presenters mentioned about about the, about the sustainability issue, and I would like to point out that sustainability is very difficult to achieve, especially in a world with wars and terrorism, and uh, I, my country has recently faced a terrorist attack which killed people who were preparing for a peace march. So I would like to ask for you, from you for your prayers and meditations for the victims who suffered. And my presentation is on thorium research and development activities in Turkey. I represent the Republic of Turkey, Minister of Energy and Natural Resources, Nuclear Energy Project Implementation Department. The contents of my presentation, first the country profile for Turkey, then I will mention about the nuclear power plant projects in our country, then I will mention about the thorium research and development activities, and specifically, specifically focusing on research on thorium fuel cycle, research on accelerator-driven systems, infrastructure development, and finally I will conclude. Our country, we are a middle-income developing country with an area of approximately 780,000 kilometers square and a population of 78 million people with a GDP of 750 billion US dollars and a GDP per capita of $10,000. In 2014, we had an installed electrical cap cap capacity of 69.5 gigawatts and an electricity consumption of 257 billion kilowatt hours. Our electricity demand since the last 10 years have been increasing a lot. Uh, the annual increase in our electricity demand was approximately 5.6% during this period. Our first nuclear power plant project, the, Turkey has signed an agreement with Russian Federation in 2010 for the construction of four units of VVR 1200 reactors with an operation lifetime of 60 years. Uh, with a capex of 20 billion US dollars and an annual electricity generation of 35 billion kilowatt hours, which is traded on the Mediterranean coast of Turkey. And the project schedule is actually quite tight. The construction license is expected to be received by 2017, and the reactor units are planned to be commissioned starting from 2023 with one year following periods. Our second nuclear power plant project, which is situated in the north of Turkey on the Black Sea coast, Turkey has signed an intergovernmental agreement with Japan in 2013 for the construction of four units of Atmea-1 reactors with 4,480 megawatt capacity with a capex of 22 billion US dollars an operation lifetime of 60 years and an annual electricity generation of 33 billion kilowatt hours. <coughs> For this project, the construction license is expected to be received by 2019 and the units are planned to be commissioned in 2023, 24, 27 and 28. And coming to the thorium exploration and development activities in Turkey, Turkey has 380,000 tons of reasonably assured thorium resources, whereas the feasibility of their extraction should be studied. Actually, there have been uh, agreements between the Mineral Research Institute of Turkey and the Turkish Atomic Energy Authority
for the feasibility studies for the extraction of these thorium resources, which are planned to be concluded in the next two years. The research and development activities should be promoted to determine the feasibility of thorium mining and the thorium fuel cycle. And the technologies in Turkey should be developed for separation of complex minerals and purification of thorium, rare earth elements, and other minerals. <coughs> the academic research on thorium fuel cycle. In Turkey, there are advanced academic research on thorium fuel cycle, which needs support from both the local industry and also the international industry. The reactor types which are studied include the pressurized heavy water reactors, the molten salt breeder reactors, high temperature gas reactors, where thorium utilization had been demonstrated, and also reactors like advanced heavy water reactors, gas turbine modular helium reactors, high temperature modular reactors, the reduced moderation boiling water reactors, and hybrid nuclear reactors, and VVR 1000 reactor with core and blackhead, and finally the accelerator driven systems. The research on accelerator driven systems. This research is mainly motivated by the uh, construction plan for a high energy proton accelerator in Turkey. And Turkey should be integrated academically to international research and development activities on accelerator driven systems, which are expected to be commercialized in the middle of this century. There are theoretical academic research studies on accelerator driven systems in Turkey, which needs to be verified by industrial demonstrations. And development of a high energy accelerators in Turkey is important to verify the results of these academic research studies. The infrastructure development in Turkey, similar to many countries, the start of the nuclear energy, nuclear science and technology activities, a Atomic Energy Authority and an Atomic Energy Commission had been established, which in time also took the regulatory activities for nuclear applications. Our plan, our target is to separate this authority and form a new independent regulatory authority and also a in other institute who will be responsible for nuclear science and technology applications. And the legislative framework for research and development should be improved to promote the flexibility of organizations and researchers on their activities. Finally, in conclusion, in Turkey, thorium is considered as a potential energy resource to decrease the energy import dependency of Turkey. Turkey is highly dependent on fossil fuel imports, especially natural gas and oil and also hard coal. The strategic plan of Ministry of Energy and National Resources until 2019 includes the promotion of research and development activities on uranium and thorium reserves in order to determine the feasibility of their extraction. And our department, the Nuclear Energy Project Implementation Department, is responsible for coordination of these activities. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Gungar, for giving an overview of the situation in Turkey with regard to thorium research. Uh, are there any questions on this? Questions, comments? Well, there seem to be none. So thank you very much, Mr. Gungor. And here is a...